Although what's annoying me is I was playing it last night and I didn't sink once. I didn't lose once. I took everybody out and I'll put these videos up on YouTube so you guys can see them. But for like the last three, four missions, I've been 100% intact. Everybody I was supposed to sunk is sunk. I've been playing a lot better. I'm taking too many risks today. I think that's probably what it is. Alrighty. Got myself a cup of tea and a Kit Kat. We're about as good to go as we're ever going to get. I'm going to write down our targets today. A Mosca. That is our target. We've made contact with the Soviet Open Ocean ASW group, including a heli helicopter carrier that is attempting to break out into the North Atlantic with intent to hunt our Polaris submarines there. <sighs> and that's all we've got. MK-16s, which are the really old World War II style torpedoes. They are effectively dumb. And we got the MK-37, which after World War II was the first, I believe, I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that was the first attempt at a sub-to-sub -sub missile. And uh, you can see it's quite a bit smaller than the MK-16 and uh, was vastly less powerful and pretty much ineffective. So, yeah. You need at least two to take a sub down, I think. Let's crack on. Con sonar lost contact. Last bearing three, three, zero. Contact faded. Right of right. Silent running. Rig shift for ultra quiet. Get on course, figure out what the state we're in, and then decide what we're going to do. Straighten level. Conditions. Okay, we're in a good position. Ambient noise is 99 decibels. That means it's fairly, I wouldn't say stormy, but the sea is making a noise. That's what the ambient noise is. Now, I thought I just heard a ping. Yeah, we are being pinged. Silent running. Oh, we're already, we're already silent running, that's fine. Quick swig of tea as I think about what the best plan of action is. Con, sonar, new contact bearing. Three, two, zero. Designated Sierra, one. It's 8.3 kilometers away. 42% solution, 46%. He's travelling at 20 knots. What direction? Is he coming straight at us? No. Rudder. Hard left. He's coming down this way. And he's going fast. Going that fast, he can't really hear us, surely. Periscope depth. Make depth 4, 5, 8, die by. Ping is coming from not quite there. Hard right. Take a quick peek, see what we've got. I think the chopper's up. In which case, 
Surfacing is a bad idea. He's, he's perfectly in range. If I can get a better solution on him, I might just fire some torpedoes and dive and get the hell out of here. Is it a problem if the mission is over super quick? I don't think so. Basically need to get this periscope up and down super fast. He is travelling at a rate of knots though. Con sonar, Sierra 1 is classified as escort. So that's the escort. That's not what we're looking for. Periscope. Up scope. Periscope view. Periscope view. Look at that. Don't see the periscope, please. Mark target. Mark target. There she is. Periscope. Periscope. Down scope. Planes down. Rudder right. Increase power. Make con sonar. We are cavitating. Rudder left. Passing 100 feet. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. So we're going to go deep, about 600 feet. We're going to go fast. We're going to try and close on these guys, but they are moving at some speed. You can see he's actively pinging feet. me now. They both are. There's a plane overhead. That'll be pinging me as well. Remember, I'm still a rookie, so any mistakes Passing I make feet. are an opportunity to learn. So we're below the thermal layer, that will help us. Increase power. Passing 400 feet. At 500 I'll level out. Straighten level. Blank speed. Turns for three zero knots, maneuvering eye. Tactical map. Rudder right. Tactical map. Rudder left. So now we're closing in behind them. We want to get in their baffles where they can't hear us so well because we are at top speed. We are making a lot of noise, even if it doesn't feel like we are. Now, as I learned in the last lesson, in the last mission, sometimes torpedoes in the water, you, you, you can't pick them out. They're absolutely silent until they go active. And like the last one, when active, it must have... It must have gone active really close to where we were. And one thing I'd love to see in this game is a replay option. So if you get hit by a torpedo that you only knew was there five seconds before it hit you, I would love to see a replay of that. Con maneuvering, making turns for three, zero knots. Now, obviously, despite the fact that you can sort of see where these two are, this is their last known location. We actually have no idea where they are. They could have done a 360 and be going back the other way. They could have stopped. They could be exactly there. But the chances are 
I think they know we're here because they're pinging us really hard, or they were. So I think there's a good chance that they've changed course. So me sort of half arsedly heading in this direction, flat out, when I pop back up, they might not even be there. I just don't know. That's the beauty of it. That's that's the, the cat and mouse chase aspect of submarine warfare. I've got to say, though, how brave are these guys who go in submarines? I mean, unbelievably brave. If you go on a ship, like a warship, you know there's a good chance you're going to get blown up. You know there's a good chance that the sick the ship will sink and maybe maybe not you'll survive there's a chance you'll survive but it's it's a it's a difficult situation to be in but submariners it's like they're dead already anything goes wrong when you're 700 feet underwater there's only one thing that's going to happen there incredibly brave fearless Deserve so much, so much respect. I think this is a good opportunity to have a Kit Kat, don't you? Rudder, left. Getting pinged, rudder right. Planes down. Let's get below 600 Passing feet. 600 feet. I don't like being pinged. I'm still going left. Passing 700 feet. Straight and level. Passing 800 feet. Planes up. Whoops. Rudder hard left. Passing 800 feet. Passing 700 feet. Straight and level. Hard Passing left. 600 feet. Still pinging me at 600. Planes down. Straight and level. Passing 600 feet. Hopefully that little U-turn will have confused them a bit. But I doubt it, as soon as they're still pinging me from over here. Oh wow, one's here, one's over here. Rudder left. On the right. I don't want to be going there. I want to be going here. Rudder right left. Rudder right, right. Rudder right, right. Straight and level. Guys are moving so fast. Let's pop up and see where they are, shall we? Ballast up. Ballast up. Ballast up.
ballast up. Rudder right. Rudder left. Passing 600 feet. Getting pinged from all the way over here. I think he's over here somewhere. When we get to 300, we'll go quiet and then bank left. There he is, he's over here. Whilst they're pinging us and we're making noise, we'll carry on in the same direction. I'd love this in multiplayer, wouldn't that be cool? Passing 500 feet. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Silent running. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Hard left. Straight and level. Periscope depth. Make depth four, five feet, die by. Con sonar regained contact on. Master one, bearing two, three, eight. That's the cash in. Not too worried about, well, I mean, we're worried about you, but you're not our primary objective. We've closed the gap a little bit, not much. We did do a 360 degree spin by accident. It's the Moskva we want to get round. Basically, I want to get this side of the Moskva so that the cash in has to shoot him to get to me. That's where we want to be. Con sonar new contact bearing three, one, four, designated Sierra three. There it is, Sierra three. So now we got a third ship or a third signal. Could be a whale. Seems awfully far out to be part of these two, but look at that, we are right on his backside now. Just there somewhere. Periscope. Upscope. Periscope view. Mark target. Con sonar. Master 3 is classified Mark as target. escort. Periscope. Down scope. Planes down. Let's get into this uh, area. Increase power. Con sonar. We are cavitating. That's not clever. What I just did there. Con maneuvering. Making turns for. We're in his baffles. Zero. But these two guys could easily pick up on that. That is a, a loud noise to Con be making. Con sonar lost contact. Master one. Last passing 100 feet. Con sonar no longer cavitating. We're just gonna do it. We're gonna go. Fire torpedo. Shoot two four. Aye sir. Fire torpedo. Passing 200 feet. Con fire control. We've lost the wire. Fire torpedo. Con fire control, we've lost the wire. Straight and level. Con sonar lost contact. Fire Master torpedo. Three. Last bearing three. Zero. Passing 300 feet. Fire torpedo. We're too deep to fire this. They have to be fired at 180 or shallower. Reload. Reload.
Rudder right. Straight and level. Now, if I go follow those torpedoes, I'll be taking my eye off what we're doing. Silent running. Planes down. Con sonar lost contact. Master two. Last bearing two. Seven. Seven. Contact faded. Straight and level. But we'll risk it for a biscuit, because it's still training. It's not missions yet. It's not a campaign. And I'm sure you guys Passing would like to see feet. explosions and such. So once we get to about here, these will become active. Whether or not we're close enough, that's a totally different thing. In fact, I might drop down to 600 and flat out accelerate in this direction and see what happens. Planes down. Torpedon, fire control, we've lost the wire. Reload. Increase power. Make turns for one, five knots. Maneuvering eye. Getting pinged. Passing five Straight and level. Feet. Flank speed. Make turns for three, zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Camera. Passing 600 feet. Perfect. We're below 600 at full speed. It's a good position to be in. Now, I'm pretty sure he was turning right in order to avoid or evade our torpedoes. They've got planes overhead. Torpedo room, two, four ready. They've got helicopters. They've got all sorts. So, um... We don't really want to be near the surface, but we are going to have to pop back up and see if we've got this guy. At the moment, I'm quite confident of our defensive position. Hopefully these are in the baffles, so he doesn't really know where they're coming from. We've got one going right, one going center, one going left. It's a long shot though, that's the only problem. It's not close at all. I'm going to bring myself up here and then I'm going to come across, go west, and uh, basically do the same Done. thing. Pop Maneuver up, see if we're nice and close, Three, take a couple of shots, Done. disappear. Still not 100% certain if they can hear us at full speed, flank speed, at 600 feet. Bit of a gamble. Right of right. Sorry, hard left. completely the wrong way. Hard left. Right then, we'll do a 360. Hard right. That was not part of the plan. Straight and level. Hard left. Straight and level. Rudder right. Rudder left. Oh, it's tricky to get this thing going where I wanted to.
hard right. Straight level. Now there may also be a sub down here. You can see these are our torps. I want to get too close close to those, obviously. Oh, depth charges on. right on us. Silent running. Planes down. Yeah, we took some damage there. Damage control. Crikey. Strain level. Passing 700 feet. Torpedo coming in as well. I bet that's going to dive. So, well, that clarifies that. They can certainly Constar, hear us. Noisemaker bearing 278. 278. Okay, so that's a noisemaker there, which means there's a ship there. Something just blew up. That's their torpedo. These are two of ours. Maybe we've hit uh, the Moskova with our left hand. Because he turned right and he's come across here. Maybe we got lucky with that shot. Periscope depth. Make depth four, five, eight, die by. I can hear the planes overhead. Con sonar regained contact on. Master three, bearing three, one, two. There he is. That is our target. Let's pop a shot in there and see what happens. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Silent running. Rig shift for ultra quiet. That's not what we wanted. Plus, we're perilously close to our own torpedoes here. Hard right. Fire torpedo. Shoot two four. Aye, sir. Con sonar regained right. contact on. Master two, bearing one, four, zero. Coming right. Look at Con that. Right on our contact. ass. Master three, last bearing <clears> zero, <throat> seven, But I have to nine. turn right. Contact is in the baffles. Con sonar lost contact. Master two, last bearing one. Three, six, contact is in the baffles. I think our, uh, did we hit him? We hit somebody. Periscope. Upscope. I'm so worried about this torpedo hitting us. Fire control, weapon acquired. Stay away from us. Look at this. Periscope view. Mark target. That's the Kotlin. I think we've hit our target. I think we're done. I think mission achieved here. Con, dive, Mark target. Dive four, five, eight, dive, bye. That's the cash in. What are we after? The Mascu. Mascuva. So. Mark target. That's the Moscova. Periscope. Down scope. Planes down. Dive, dive, dive. Con sonar. Re Con sonar. We are cavitating. That's. I think that's our torpedo, you know. Reload. Con sonar regained contact on master two bearing one two passing 100 feet. I'm gonna take this guy out. There's that. That's our torpedo passing there. Look. Feet. That is our torpedo on this guy. Con Straight sonar, level. Noisemaker passing. Straight level. Feet. Silent running. Back ring ship for ultra quiet. Con sonar no longer cavitating. These torpedoes have got us right on the mark. We're in big trouble. Passing 500 feet.
There's a lot going on here. Tactical map. I think we need to come out. I'm not sure that's sinking. I did say to you that these are not very powerful. Fire torpedo. Shoot two five. Hi, sir. Fire torpedo. Gone fire control. We've lost the Tactical wire. map. We are taking some hits there, aren't we? Flank speed. Dive, dive, dive. Zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Gone fire control. We've lost the wire. Sixty-four percent. We might not make it out of here. Con, the total ray has been repaired. Straight and level. Con sonar lost contact. Master three. Last bearing zero three four. Contact breaking up. Moscovo's gone. There she is. She's sinking. They're still trying to uh, depth charge us, and they're not far off. We've just got to get out of here now. Planes up. Very deep for a 64% hole. <laughs> and, uh, so I want to kill you. Two torpedoes on our flank as well. Passing 500 feet. Right rudder. Periscope depth. Make depth four, five, eight, die by. Conditions. I want to get in there. 228. Can you hear us creaking? Hard left. He's Con turning. Sonar regained contact on. Master 3. Bearing 0. 2. We nine. can get in his baffles and take him down. But it's a risk. Hard left. Straight and level. Hard left. Damage control. Pumps are not pumping out water at the moment. Because they're broken. I want him to come past us. We'll sweep in behind him. Put some torpedoes up his ass. Reload. Reload. He's damaged, look. We have hit him. Fire torpedo. Shoot two four. Aye, sir. Straight and level. It's turning. Fire torpedo. Oh, 180 feet. Planes up. Planes up. Con, torpedo room, tube five ready. Passing 200 feet. Fire torpedo. Con, fire control, we've lost the wire. Con, Straight fire level. control, we've lost the wire. Fire torpedo. Change the target. Aye, sir. Fire torpedo. Shoot two two. Aye, sir. Fire torpedo. Shoot two three. Aye, sir. Reload. 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 We've hit her, but she's still operational, clearly. Torpedo room, tube six ready. Two torps coming in our, in our general direction. Sneaky third one there, look. Not sure what's just happened to that one. Planes coming in, planes down. Planes down.
train level. Where are they going? Con, torpedo room, two point ready. Fire torpedo. Aye, sir. Camera. So I know what I did there. I had targeted uh, M3, wherever the hell M3 was. Uh, so my firing solution was wrong. So I fired off over there at M3. Meant to be firing at this one. Con, torpedo room, two, ah, two, ready. Rookie mistake. Oh, we're dead. Why are we suddenly dead? Periscope depth. Make depth four, five, eight, die by. HUD. That's what happened. We weren't dead. Jesus Christ. Get some grip, man. Right rudder. Fire torpedo. Oh, no, this one. Fire torpedo. Shoot two one. Aye, sir. Fire Not torpedo. Sonar. We are cavitating. Shoot two two. Silent Aye, running. Sir. Rig ship for Fire quiet. torpedo. Aye, sir. Reload. Fired enough torpedoes at her. I've hit her once. One of these three's got to take her down. We have sunk something over there. Slow down. Planes Make down. Turns for zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Over there somewhere. Increase power. Rod of right. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. That torpedo's just entered the water over there somewhere, so we're going to try and quietly move out of the way. I think the Moscova is going to avoid our torpedoes again. Reload. 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 Passing 100. Oh, crap, there's a torpedo coming. Is that coming our way? Straight and level. Fire torpedo. Con, torpedo room, two, five, ready. Just fire a torpedo at us. Shoot two, four, aye, sir. Reload. Fire torpedo. Fire control, we've lost the wire. Reload. Activate. Planes down. Can't go too deep. Conditions? Con, sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo yeah. in the water, bearing one. Dive, eight, dive, five. dive. Hard right. Passing 200 feet. Damn it. So much going on. So many torpedoes in the water. I didn't see that one until it was too late. And I think that sneaky little blighter might just escape us. That last torpedo we fired might... Might be on course. Where is it? This one. 
this picks up the sonar quick enough, it might track it and kill it, but... <sighs> that was a classic rookie fire 20 torpedoes and miss with all but two of them scenario. Now I deliberately, unless this is one of the dumb ones, no, I deliberately set this to activate its sonar early. So if he activates now, he should pick that up because that's making a lot of noise and he's close. So if he suddenly turns sharp right, we've got him, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. Look, he's coming right over the top. Turning. He's searching, but he's just behind. I need that ship to come over the top. And it looks like he might. It also looks like he might not. If I'd have put this on a spin, we'd have this right now. I'm concerned our torpedo's gonna go, it's just gonna stay in front of him constantly. Look at that. It's behind you. Stupid thing. Looking for this. It's right there. That's us, by the way. Sinking in the background. Cannot believe you're just literally going to swim in front of the ship we're trying to kill. Ah. Uh. That's how close we came to sinking it. That's how close it was. What a shame. We hit it. We didn't sink it. So the cash-in we sunk, which wasn't the target, sorry, the cash-in escaped, the, the Kotlin was sunk, which wasn't our target, and the Moskova was hit and damaged, but not bloody sunk. Shame. Shame. It's all good learning though. This is all preparation for the campaign. The Bastion Gambit. What time is it? It's quarter to three, guys. Ah, oh, I'd love to do another one, but my daughter's going to be home from school soon, and I need to go and look after her, and then I need to cook dinner for the family and all that kind of good stuff. So hopefully there's some people out there who haven't seen this game before. Cold Waters is on sale on Steam at the moment for 15 pounds and at that price it's an absolute steal it's an absolute steal at that price so if you haven't seen it and uh, you think my rookie gameplay is interesting enough for you to go and um, have a look then please do go and have a look this is a great game I'll be putting a full review out on it at some point but I do recommend it it is good I've learnt a lot today, an awful lot, and I'm hoping to take that into the campaign and make some... When I play campaign, I'll be playing more seriously, but this is very much about get stuck in, have a go, see what happens, learn from your mistakes, and I think I've done a lot of that today. Thank you all for watching, I really appreciate it. Until next time, take care of yourselves, and goodbye for now.